The Piper Aviation Museum is a testament to the Piper Aircraft Corporation and is filled with aircrafts and aircraft equipment, along with a remarkable collection of corporate and family records, flight journals and magazines, photographs and memorabilia. The building itself is an impressive 56,000 square foot structure that was formerly the engineering building for the Piper Corporation. While inside the museum, visitors are treated to the exciting stories of the General Aircraft Company. William T. Piper's legacy is chronicled as well as the history of the facilities. The museum was organized to collect all the artifacts, all the information, the history of the Piper Company and the family, the Piper family along with it, and to try to organize those and put them in a museum where we could offer it to the public uh, some view of the history of the company. Shortly after a fire destroyed the Piper manufacturing plant in Bradford, Pennsylvania, Piper moved his newly purchased aircraft company to Lock Haven in 1937. While producing aircrafts here, Piper rose to the number one spot as the United States light plane maker. The planes were known as Piper Cubs and were used during World War II as reconnaissance aircrafts. Inside, the history is brought to life. But once outside, the William T. Piper Memorial Airport hosts many of Lock Haven's events. Wings Over Piper is an annual gathering of radio-controlled aircraft enthusiasts who are able to openly fly their models. Pilots proudly fly their models and put on demonstrations for everyone at the event. The sentimental journey fly-in gives pilots from all around the country the opportunity to fly their Piper Cubs into Lock Haven for five days of events and contests. The familiar yellow aircrafts flying over the wooded mountains of Clinton County and into Lock Haven is truly a sight to be seen. More and more people assemble each year to catch a glimpse of the Piper Cubs landing and taking off as if they were in their heyday.